how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel with two different criteria. So let's say as the first criteria, I have the product name. And as the second criteria, I have the brand name. Basically, I need to combine the product with the brand to have the price. And I, of course, I can manually take the product and the brand. And through this list that I have here, this price list, I can check if one of the products and each one of the brands. And that way, I'm going to have a specific price for this specific product. But I still have to do it manually because it's going to take me a long time. I can automate this task. And that way, I can use the VLOOKUP function to help me. So let's start here. Equal sign VLOOKUP function. Double click. One, two, to select. As the first thing that I want to input here is the lookup value. And my first lookup value can be the product. As we need to follow the launch of working of the VLOOKUP function. That is, it's going to look up for the product in the column, and then it's going to bring it back as a result, anything that is to the right. And it can be whether the first column or the second one or the third one or on and on. It depends on the, the brand name. The lookup the look value is the product name, comma. The table array that I want to use here is the table that I have here is this specific range where I have the product's name. But I also need to select everything to the right that I can potentially bring back as the result. And here is very important to lock this reference. Even though I click in the down right corner of the cell, click, hold and drag it out to move and cope the function to all those different rows that I have here in the spreadsheet. I don't want to lose this reference right here. I want you this reference to stay fixed in the same position. So to fix the reference, I just going to press here the F4 key, as you can see, because now we can add the dollar sign before the letter and before the number or before the column and before the row. And then again, comma, now the column index number, as I'm looking for the supplement store, the column that I want to use as the result column is going to be the column. The first one is where I have the products. The second one is where I have, okay, the supplement store. So the number two is the number that I need to input in the function because it's the second column that I want to bring it back as a result. But as I said before, it uh, can change. So now I'm looking for the supplement store. But if I was looking for a natural ABC or one, two, three brand or fitness vitamins, so it can change. So I need to create something to be able to dynamically change the number of those columns that I have. And to do it, I'm going to use here the match function. The match function can look for what is the column that I need to bring it back as a result. The first one, the second one, the third one, or so on, so on. So here, instead of manually input the number three or the number two or on and on, I'm going to use the match function. Double click here, one, two to select. And now the lookup value is going to be the brand. Chala. The lookup array is going to be the titles or the header because here in the header is where I have each one of the brand's names. And uh, basically, I need to select everything because the, the price is going to be the first column. The supplement store is going to be the second one. The natural ABC, the third one. One, two, three brand, fourth one. Fitness and vitamins, the fifth one. So I just select everything that I'm going to use to match with the brand name. Okay, so I select the, the title. And then again, it's very important to use the F4 key to lock the reference for the same reasons that I explained it before. Comma, I want to use exactly match, one, two to select, close references, comma. And now the last argument that I need to input here that is corresponding to the VLOOKUP function is going to be false or true. I want to stick with the second option, exactly match, so false. One, two, okay, close references, let me press enter and see what's going to happen. Uh, creatine, 180 caps, supplement star. $50.52. Yeah, it's correct, as uh, we saw before in the beginning of the video. I have here creatine, 180 caps, and I have all those prices right here. But I am looking for the supplement store. So, yeah, $50.52. Okay, now let me double click here in the down right corner of the cell. One, two, and now I know that all the rows that I have in this sheet are done with the correct function. Let's take something random here, such as pre workout, 300 grams, natural ABC. Uh, $30.83. Let's check if it's correct. So natural ABC, and I'm looking for the pre-workout 300 grams, $30.83. Yes, it's perfectly correct. So this is how we can use the VLOOKUP function coupled with the match function here in Excel to solve a practical problem. I hope this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.